What's up, my friends, my people, fireballers across the nation, across the world, not just the nation, the world, all over this tiny marble that uh, that exists, that we're floating around on, spinning like a whirling dervish. Uh, what's up, Timbo? Welcome to Art Talk. I got things on my desk that I don't know why they're there, uh, but I do have something cool to show you today, something fun, and... Uh, Oh, we're going to get to it. Mark Truman, what's up? Uh, Don, uh, Don Coot, how? Uh, Don, what's your middle name? Gorgeous? Huh, I don't know. <laughs> That's my middle name. Mm -hmm. No, not even. Not even. It's more like dork. Uh, idiota. That was one of the first words I learned in Spanish uh, when I was a kid. I grew up with a... Uh, I was very fortunate. I grew up with a Spanish housekeeper. Uh, my first word was carrito. So I learned my... R's. I learned how to roll my R's pretty well. Uh, and um, I learned a few other uh, nasty uh, Spanish words. Came in useful later on. Uh, when someone would make fun of me, I would just call them a nasty Spanish name, and they wouldn't know what I meant. Didn't I have a lot of Spanish people in uh, PV uh, at the time. Now it's uh, a lot of Japanese people in Palos Verdes. Uh, I guess. I don't know. I haven't been back there in a while. Uh, good morning, people. Welcome to Art Talk. This is episode 276, and today we're going to be talking about the power of patience and faith. Huh. And I'm going to ask you to have some patience and faith as we get through the first part of Art Talk, which we generally do, uh, just to do some updates as to some of the things that are going on in the world of Fireball and uh, Fireball Publishing, which is my company. We create the world's best coloring books. Uh, and currently we are working on, uh, I, I keep having to move uh, things. I get notifications on the phone while I'm doing our talk <laughs> from Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and pretty much everywhere else. I got to figure out how to turn that off. Uh, anyway, so we do, uh, uh, we do uh, uh, coloring books and we have our new Camaro coloring book. It's coming out uh, uh, June 1st. Uh, today's book, Vintage Trailers. So if you're into a vintage trailer, uh, you can get this backwards one, which is not backwards, uh, but you know what I'm talking about. If you're a past art talker, art talker this book is um, sponsored by the Murphy Auto Museum, which I am the design director for, and uh, it's closed now. You can't go there. I can talk, talk all about it, how great it is, but you can't go see it. You can go online and see it, which is pretty cool. Mike Levy, uh, who we got? Bob Brown, good to see you. Uh, Chris Erickson, thanks for joining us. Uh, today's sketch, how about a Volkswagen bus tiki truck? I would like to take that uh, on a um, on a little uh, uh, little journey, you know, and and hang out in this place wherever this place is. This guy's surfing away in the background there, coming down on a wave. Uh, so this is pretty fun. There, I think this is pretty much the only vintage trailer coloring book on the planet, as far as I know. Uh, we've you know we researched this stuff pretty well, and why would anybody do a vintage trailer coloring book? Hello, uh, I did uh, because I thought it was cool and it needed to be done. Uh, and and uh, there's a lot of vintage trailer people out there, so why not? Who, who the hell cares? What the hell do I know? I'm just going to keep doing, drawing crazy stuff, like my friend Joff Ambao, who we showed you guys uh, his, one of his books yesterday. Here's another one of his books. This is Air Cooled. This is his Porsche book, which is really amazing. Um, both of our books are available on Amazon, but uh, Joff's book is more of a design book, uh, and his illustrations, incredible illustrations. And, uh, um, you know, he's very graphic the way he works. Uh, and uh, we had his, uh, his art up at, um, at the Murphy, uh, which we have an art gallery up there also. So air-cooled, Porsche cars as art. That's one of Joff's books. I don't get a, a penny for pimping Joff's work. I need to put a deal together with him. No, I'm just kidding. No, buy one of his books. Um, it's good stuff, really good stuff. Uh, we, we're going through some shifts. Uh, the interesting thing about this whole uh, corona crap that's going on is that um, uh, there's two ways to look at it. There's the, holy crap, I'm scared and petrified. I'm not going to leave my home. I'm afraid I'm going to get some kind of viral infection and, and uh, check out. Or you can say, oh, this is an opportunity. Yeah. So I, I decided that the, the second one is a little more fun versus dying or just getting sick, getting a little sick. There's lots of people that are getting sick and then recovering like a regular flu. So it's like no big deal. Um, if you keep yourself healthy, then you won't check out, right? Uh, like uh, one of those roaches from the Roach Motel, you know? Uh, and But if it's an opportunity, which I consider it to be, 
Uh, it's an opportunity to do art talk with you guys. It's an opportunity to uh, restructure some of the things that we're doing with our business. And one of the things that we're doing a major restructure on, which is why I'm only doing one vlog a week, and I actually missed this last vlog, is we're restructuring the YouTube channel uh, to do some new fresh stuff. Uh, we're going to be implementing Art Talk on YouTube. We're going to be implementing a show that Kathy and I are, uh, not a show, but episodes that are under the guise of the vlog, but we're going to be doing uh, Nintendo Stories. So Kathy, uh, if you're familiar with my wife, Kathy, she built all the Nintendo characters for all the commercials, all the mascots and things like that. She's done thousands of characters over the years. Uh, but, but a lot of those stories get lost. So we decided that we're going to sit down together and we're going to go through some of those uh, commercials that we did, uh, uh, starting with the first one, which is Super Smash Brothers, if you were a Nintendo fan, and talk about uh, behind the scenes, kind of some of the things we went through, show you guys some of the photos and some of the fun stuff. They're going to be, you know, quick 10 minute vids, but uh, they're very popular. And I think that people would appreciate, because uh, basically all there is, is the games or the commercials. Uh, there's not anybody telling the stories. And stories are always kind of the funnest thing. So we're going to get into that. That's exciting. That's going to be starting today. And hopefully if all goes well, we'll be able to upload a, a video today. Uh, we'll be uploading two things. This art talk will go up on YouTube, as well as a Nintendo story from Super Smash Brothers. So that, I'm excited about that. Uh, we did books of the day. I'm currently driving the 2020 Mazda Miata um, RF edition, the MX-5 RF edition. It's a zippy little car up into the canyons. We took it up yesterday. And uh, that was pretty fun. And then um, uh, we do have a, uh, a vlog coming, vlog episode coming uh, next week. Uh, we're just, like I said, we're restructuring things. We have close to a thousand episodes of the vlog. If you have not subscribed, head on over to YouTube and to our channel, Fireball Malibu Vlog, or you can type in Fireball Tim, uh, and, and subscribe to the channel because we're going to have a lot more videos, a lot more fun stuff coming. And uh, it's going to be pretty, I'm pretty excited about it. I'm pretty stoked. Uh, so I'm looking at this whole Corona crap as opportunity to give you guys much more content than we normally have. Uh, we do have our movie car showdown that's uh, being implemented right now. Round three just went up on Facebook. And that is the pits my 1989 Batmobile uh, that I designed for the Michael Keaton Batman movie against the Get Smart Sunbeam Tiger. And right now, the Sunbeam Tiger's kicking its ass. <laughs> Royal. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, the Batmobile may be going down in flames because, um, I don't know, I, I love, uh, if it was up to me and I didn't do that Batmobile, I probably would vote for the Sunbeam Tiger also. Uh, so check that out. That's on Facebook and on uh, Twitter. Uh, so hang out, uh, check out those things. And uh, so excited about getting those things going. So let's get into today's our talk, the power of patience and faith. And a lot of the things that I bring up in the intro, uh, I want you guys to understand that that I'm not just trying to give you guys information about uh, uh, ways to improve your lives creatively, which is really what Art Talk is about, to give you guys the, the power, tips, tools, and tricks to, to be able to uh, creatively uh, expand your lives in a way that is um, profitable, uh, that brings happiness and joy and all the things that we want. But I want you guys to see that I'm in the midst of doing this also. I'm, you know, I'm not, my life's not perfect by any means. And I have certain challenges and, and things that I want to overcome and improve and make better. Uh, so I'm actually, uh, you know, I'm in the throes with you guys. I'm in the trenches with you guys trying to make sure that, that you know, fear doesn't, uh, doesn't do me in. And, and same thing with Kathy. And, and that we use these tips and techniques on a daily basis. Uh, this one today being... Um, the power of patience and faith, uh, and that I implement these things and I get these things going. So you're, you guys aren't alone. This is something that we are working on every day. And I want you guys to know that. And that's why we bring up all the things that we're doing with the coloring books and all this stuff. This is our, our creative expression. This is what we're trying to get out into the world to make our lives better. And, you know, and of course, if you make more money, you, you can do more things. You can put more things out into the world. You're actually a more, more, um, uh, a, a powerful person to be able to affect change in a positive way when you make more money. It, it's as simple as that. So, um, uh, you know, if you're, if you're worried about money and if you're, you're not able to manifest stuff uh, uh, through uh, this whole Corona crap that's happening, I'm going to hashtag that Corona crap because that's what it is. And then um, uh, uh, there's people out there still making money. Lots of money. Lots of it. Like, uh, like shitloads shitloads. Uh, and there's lots of ways. There are infinite ways to be able to make that. Uh, so uh, we've been fortunate enough to um, 
uh, have uh, stocks and a lot of that kind of stuff. And and we want you guys to be able to 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 take the things that you love to do to monetize those things creatively, and then to use that to expand and enhance your experience in life and to, to make your lives better. And we're going to do that today through the power of patience and faith. So uh, let's get into the first part. Um, why, why do creative people specifically, uh, which uh, as a little side note, we're all creative, everybody. Uh, did I miss anybody here? I did. Oh, there's lots of people. Robert Smith uh, came in and uh, Greg Ovis, good to see you. Jerry, good to see you. Scott Desfour, Mark Vaughn. What's up, Mark? Uh, big thanks to Mark at Auto Week for that great article on uh, uh, helping kids to do stuff um, uh, creatively. Check out Mark's uh, article on Auto Week. It shows our coloring books, which is great, but it shows a bunch of other stuff that kids can do if that are quarantined. It's the latest uh, thing on AutoWeek.com. Is it AutoWeekUSA.com? Mark, leave a leave a a, uh, a link to what where that is where people can see it but you know why do creative people need patience and faith uh because you know we we're as, as creative people you're you're emotionally um tumultuous as we say is that we want to uh we want to express ourselves you know some you know actors want to express themselves uh artists uh photographers writers that you know we all don't feel like we have a purpose unless we are expressing unless we are implementing that that specific channel that we choose i hear grinding going on there may be juice happening hello oh i also forgot there was one other thing i want to show you guys i'll show you at the end uh that so it's important that um that we have patience because uh patience is a mindset patience is something that we need to implement and saying that that we release the anxiety that things have to happen now, accept things, and we talked about this in yesterday's article, accept things as the way they are in order to change. That's, that's the thing, that's the paradox, is that when you accept things the way they are right now with corona crap and all this kind of stuff that's going on, uh, then you open yourself up for change, for positive change. You have to be able to, to know where you're going and you have to be able to take steps to get there. But being patient is important, is that, that um, you know, you can't force your kid to grow up. You just, you just look at them when they're 14 and they look different than when they're 22. And it happened, uh, uh, you didn't have any choice. You had to be patient. You couldn't say, God, I just want him to be 22. I want him to be 22. Uh, he doesn't uh, uh, just blink and become that. So same thing with our, our goals, the, the things that we want to work towards. It's important to have patience today. Uh, but to get in there, in the trenches, and work your ass off. Uh, and I don't mean work your ass off physically, but with your with your mind, with the right thoughts, with the right words, and with the right actions. Uh, you don't want to take any action, actions that are uh, that are fear inspired, that are anxiety ridden. You want to take actions uh, take actions that um, will expand and enhance in the direction of your goal uh, of the things that you want. And that may be to be healthier. It may be to be uh, more. Um, uh, financially stable. It may be to be more creative. Uh, maybe to be more inspired. Uh, if you if you you know you, you you're you kind of burned out on something, and you need to be re inspired and reinvigorated, then you need to ask for that. You need to ask for ways in which you can be inspired, and you can talk to God, to Source, to whatever it is that you want to call this superpower, in the same way that you talk to your buddies, talk to your friends. You know, uh, just you know, close your eyes or find a quiet place. Pardon me, coffee, uh, and 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 just have a conversation. Just have a conversation, but be very clear about specifically about what you want to uh, to achieve. And you can ask if you don't know what you want, you can ask for inspiration for a, for a cool idea, something to do that might be fun. But you need patience. You need patience to do that. And you need faith, which of course, what is faith? Uh, the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. That simply means uh, uh, you're working towards something. And uh, you're not going to give up until you get it. You're not going to give up until you get it. Nigel Brunt, Salvatore Carbone. Uh, I hope I said that right. Joseph Stone from Australia. What's up? From the OZ down under. Good to see you, Joseph. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Bert, I'm going to destroy your name, Bert. Uh, Dutoy Vanhees. Yeah, Bert. I apologize because I, I don't even, I can't even begin to 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 do that name but it's really cool um yeah i don't i doubt you're from southern california hi good morning 
Got you some juice. Juice. It looks like orange, mm -hmm. but chances are there's some some kind of bomb in there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Come <laughs> a little closer so we can see your face. Uh, today's juice uh, from my uh, gorgeous wife Kathy is orange juice and garlic. A little bit of carrot. And a little bit of carrot. Oh, that so that kind of rounds out the orange color a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, garlic is important. Why? Boosts your immune system. Boosts your immune and system. Kills bacteria. Kills bacteria. Otherwise known as uh, Corona crap, which we're talking about. Oh. A little bit. Hey, just take a drink so I can go now. Okay. <laughs> not too much garlic. Oh, no, not too much. Three. It's actually kind of creamy. It's kind of quite delicious, actually. Good. Uh, orange juice, carrot juice, and some garlic. Get on it, people. I splashed a little bit of olive oil in there, too. Just a tiny bit. I can taste that now. Yeah. Yeah. It's more like a, uh, it gives it a creamy texture. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, today, we are going to do a Nintendo video a little bit later with uh, with Kathy. Her head will be a little bit larger in frame. And we'll talk about some cool stuff. Thank okay. you very much. Bye. Bye. Delicious. Have some, uh, uh, some great juice this morning, people. Uh, Dawn says hi. Mm. Patience and faith. If you want juice, he's got to have patience and faith, people. It just kind of shows up. Kind of shows up. Uh, the when my mom passed away, uh, the number that started floating around that I would notice, uh, my whole family noticed it was the the number two twenty two, and everywhere I went, I noticed this number. Uh, it was on the clock. It was on uh, addresses. It was on dates. Uh, different things. It just kind of showed up. It took a long time before I I uh, started to investigate. You know, I wonder if there's a meaning behind this number because it just keeps showing up and it keeps showing up to this day. To this day, and that is that the number two twenty two represents patience and faith. So anytime you see that number, uh, and that number appears to you, it's not because the number is appearing to you. It's because you are exhibiting patience and faith. That's your mindset. And you're saying, it's okay. It doesn't have to, have to happen today. Uh, my success doesn't have to happen today. Yes, absolutely, Scott. And that's interesting that you bring that up, is that my my dad wrote several episodes of Room 222. In fact, he wrote the episode that uh, uh, that was Chuck Norris's first acting role. Uh, he brought him in as a, as a martial arts instructor. This was when back in the 60s when we were um, working out with him and got to know him very well. Uh, I think I started working out with Chuck in 1969, 68. And then in the 70s, when they did Room 222, I forget what exactly the dates were. That was the first time that number kind of appeared uh, to us. And it's interesting that uh, possibly the, the writers of that show might have had an inside uh, knowledge of, uh, that, that I think believe 222 is, is represented in the Bible somewhere, uh, some other religious texts. So it's pretty interesting. So, um, uh, it just reminds you, you don't have to be religious and all this nonsense and, and be Christian or Catholic or, or Cornholio, whatever it is that you're, you know, whatever your religion thing is. Um, in fact, Cornholio is actually an interesting religion. We can talk about that a little bit later. But um, uh, until then, look for room 222 uh, or just 222. Did your parents meet on set? No. My parents met at... Um, my dog is licking his crotch. Not a great thing to turn around and look at. You know what I mean? Hold on. Go. Yeah, that's not something I need to look at. So, and, and let alone uh, share with you guys. Um, my parents met at the uh, the Circle Ring Theater in Hollywood. They were both actors back in the uh, early 50s. And they, they got together as actors and met and dated and, and fell in love and poof, got married and, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, my dad was an actor for a long time. And then my mom said, hey, you're not making any money as an actor. Be a writer. So he started writing and then he became probably one of the foremost writers in Hollywood. Uh, 3,500 published pieces, wrote uh, Twilight Zone, Outer Limits, Bonanza, Rifleman, uh, every Western you can imagine. He was also an actor in a number of things, so uh, you can Google him, Anthony Lawrence, a lot of stuff. Um, building the mindset takes time. 
for patience and faith. This is it's important to understand is that when you start implementing patience and faith in your life, you are you are building a mindset, a way in which you look at the world that actually expands your experience, makes your experience better. This is what we're talking about. As as art talkers, uh, art talkers, as custodians of cool, our goal is to become conscious thinkers. It's to, to be able to to look at life consciously to say. I'm going to do this because it makes my life better instead of doing this because it makes my life suck, right? So if someone does something to you and you let them have it, then you're entering the world of suckage and you're not making your life better. Because nowadays, uh, you can be driving along and you get pissed off at somebody and give them the finger and they can shoot back at you, right? Uh, that's kind of the world we live in today. So you got to make better choices about about confrontations that you get into and about the things that you you do that, that are are stupid, right? Stupid. But we react emotionally to a lot of things. We get an insult and then we feel bad, you know, versus uh, like, pfft, whatever, you know, hello, I heard that before. <laughs> Come on, get a little more creative, will you? You know, the, the whole point of this is to be able to implement th a thought process, a mindset that expands our experience on this planet, that expands our experience as thinkers, as talkers, as doers, uh, so that our life gets better every day and 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 we bring more joy, peace, love, and all things cool into our lives. And we're way ahead of the curve, people. We're way ahead of the curve because we love cars. Uh, and loving cars uh, is, is a, a very large family. It's the largest family on the planet, believe it or not. It's, the automotive enthusiast is the largest enthusiast base on the planet. It's bigger than sports because you can't put the, uh, uh, a football enthusiasts and a baseball enthusiast, a hockey enthusiast in the same room, they're going to get into fist fights, you know, but you put a car people in, it's like a Camaro, Ford and Chevy guy into the same room. There's respect. Everybody loves cars. It's all cool. Patience and faith. A lot of patience and faith can be achieved by asking the right questions. It's important to be conscious, to ask conscious questions. Uh, absolutely, Brad, be the bigger person. But you have to decipher, what does that mean to be the bigger person? Uh, sometimes being the bigger person means not saying anything. Sometimes the answer to confrontation is uh, non-confrontation, right? And I've, I've talked to you guys about this uh, on Art Talk in the past, being in the airport and, you know, start a fight at the airport and see what happens. <laughs> not a great idea. Um, but you know what? Starting a fight at all, arguing with anybody is not the way to go. Confrontation is not the way to go. Love is the way to go. Love is the way to go. Uh, and love is not something like, like someone gives you a hard time and then you go over and you kiss them. You know, I'm not talking about that because you're going to get smacked. Uh, I'm talking about release and let go. Release and let go. Uh, being the bigger person is uh, what Jesus said in, or did in turning the other cheek. Not giving your attention to the kooks of the world. And there's a lot of kooks out there, especially in the news. Uh, the news is welcome to Kooksville. Because uh, they're out there trying to establish fear. I mean, if you read this, if you go on to mainstream news right now and you read some of the stories, you're like, holy crap, the world is imploding. It's terrible. But all of it is theory. It's like, oh my, there, there might be this. You know, there might be a nuclear bomb that goes off. You know, uh, there might be tar rolling up on the beaches and sucking you up and <laughs> taking you away. There might be a volcano that goes off in the middle of LA. I mean, they've done movies about it. It's got to be true, right? I mean, how many different movies have we come up with that that create the, the planet to be obliterated? Uh, this, we're consumed with this idea. People are consumed with this idea. People want to go see movies about the world being destroyed. They just, they love it. They love it. Uh, but being the bigger person is um, uh, making better choices about the movies that you watch, about the news that you watch, uh, about like not watching it at all, about the things that you do, about the way you treat people. Uh, patience and faith. Patience and faith. Um, we are, oh, I put this, um, you know, we, we, it's important to understand that we only can control three things. And we mentioned this on our talk before is that you can control your mindset, although people don't, you can control the things you say, although people don't, and you can control the things you do, although people take really poor actions, right? Your journey is to begin to think consciously thoughts that you want to think, uh, to speak words that are encouraging for yourself and for others, and to take actions that expand and enhance your experience. 
add love to the world, add good stuff to the world, and stop tearing it down. Uh, our, our governments are doing a great job at tearing a lot of things down. Uh, I'm, not just, I'm not singling out anybody individual, but politics is a game, and the game sometimes requires uh, manipulation pretty much all the time. You know, uh, but that's just just the, the way of the world. But it doesn't have to affect you. I mean, I, if we go to war to, with somebody, um, I'm not too concerned about it uh, unless they're coming up on the beach and they're trying to, you know, steal my house. You know, then I'll go into action. But, you know, there's uh, there's no sense in protesting and complaining and, and a lot of these things. There's a lot of expended energy that doesn't necessarily help to make the situation better. So we have to make conscious choices uh, about how we live our lives uh, and when we start to do that, we hopefully can inspire others to do the same. Because people don't change by what you tell them. They change by what they see. What they see you do. Uh, and parents know this better than anyone else. You know, you want your kids to, um, uh, to be respectful, then you need to be respectful. And they'll see that. Uh, you want them to um, uh, lose some weight, then you need to stop eating all the shit and gaining weight and being a hypocrite. Right? It's important that we, uh, that we address that. Okay? So um, be the change that you want to see in the world, which is what Gandhi said. I think uh, uh, MLK said that, and probably 10 billion other people said it. And now I'm saying it. And I'm going to sink, I'm going to drink to that. I'm going to sink and drink to that. It doesn't quite work to sink. I want you guys to be what I know you can be. And that is an unstoppable creative force for today. For today. Today is all we got. This is Art Talk, episode 276. We are talking about patience and faith. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. Uh, you can and you are an unstoppable creative force. The question is, do you believe that? Will you talk that way? And will you do the things necessary to continue that tidal wave of awesomeness that happens today? Okay. Yes, actions speak louder than words. Absolutely, Brad. Get out there, people. Have a spectacular day today. It's Thursday. We got one more art talk tomorrow. Uh, you will see this on YouTube. So if you get a chance, tell people to uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, Fireball Malibu Vlog or Fireball Tim on YouTube, or uh, uh, subscribe to us on our Facebook page here. Hang out with us. Uh, please share this if this is of value. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me uh, and uh, enjoying yourselves. Hopefully you have some juice today. Uh, but we will see you tomorrow. It's Friday. Spectacular. Go get them.